Okay, in this video I want to talk about integration using inverse trig functions, and this will be the first example. So, um, kind of the two most useful formulas are here at the bottom. So, recall that the derivative of arc sine is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Well, that means if we integrate that function, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, we'll just get arc sine plus c back. And the same thing for arc tangent. Okay, so... And our first problem here, uh, let's integrate 1 over the square root of 1 minus 4t squared. So typically when I see something like this, you know, I'm just thinking, well, lots of things really. Um, but if I, you know, if I know it's an inverse trig function, well, I'm just kind of thinking about which one it looks like the most. Well, um, certainly of the two that we just had listed, it looks the most like the integral of 1 over... Uh, the square root of 1 minus x squared, which we said was arc sine of x. Okay, so basically what I have to do is I have to make my integral, you know, look like this formula. And the way to do it is usually just going to be, um, usually just a little bit of algebra. And, I mean, basically it boils down to a u substitution is really, um, you'll see the, the gist of a lot of the problems. So... Really, it says you want 1 minus some, something squared. Well, I do have that in a sense. I have 4t squared, but I'm going to rewrite 4t squared as some quantity being squared. Well, I guess I could simply rewrite that as 2t squared, right? Square the 2, you'll get the 4. Square the t, certainly you get the t squared. So what we're going to do at this point is this is where the u substitution comes into it. So we'll simply let u equal 2t, what's inside the parentheses. So du would be 2 dt, divide both sides by 2, we'll get 1 half du equals dt. So now if we just simply rewrite everything, the dt again, I'll replace that with the 1 half du. And now underneath the square root, we simply have 1 minus u squared. And now we've made our integral through a u-substitution look just like the formula. So it says we'll simply get 1 half arc sine of u plus c. But again, since we started with t's in this problem, let's finish out with t's. So we'll get 1 half arc sine of 2t plus c. And that's your answer. So that's all there is to it in this case. It's just basically knowing a formula and just doing a little bit of algebra. Uh, you know, I guess you could certainly skip this algebra step, but to, but to me it makes it clear, you know, what you're substituting in. So that's why I like to put that step in there. But all right, um, I'm going to do some other ones, um, you know, a couple other ones, uh, definitely at least one with a, um, a definite integral. So. The follow-up, example two, should be posted as a video response at the bottom um, if you scroll down just a little bit, and you can check that one out if you're interested.